rodeo. I got tattoos on my face, I use that shit as motivation. I can never get a job, so for my dream, I'm dedicated. For a second, lost myself, I was too busy getting faded. Now they see me, I done... You too, what's up? It's your boy, Anthony Barber, coming back at you with another vlog. Today is Wednesday. Um, you know, the day's about to get started. It is... 1049 I got an 11 o'clock so I need to get inside let's go look who I'm greeted by look who I'm greeted by this old vapor ass nigga Alright y'all, so I told you guys that I was going to introduce uh, the barbers in my shop and um, I'm going to start by uh, introducing my boy right here, Jose, aka Jay Styles, aka Maricon, huh. nah just playing, <laughs> anyways, hey, uh, Josie, I like to call my boy right here Josie, but uh, you guys could call him Jay Styles, where can they follow you at, Jose? Well. On my on my Instagram, it's Jose Styles. So Jose underscore S T Y L E Z, Jose Styles, or Jose all in caps underscore the all in caps underscore barber all in caps. And well, also on on Snapchat, you can follow me. He's a snap ho. I'm a, yep, at J Styles ninety two. So J. S T Y L E Z 92, no caps. And, and what kind of content can they find on those platforms All you right, be posting so on? On my Instagram, you can find a lot of uh, a lot of uh, haircut haircut footage and a lot of dance <laughs> a lot of dance footage. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit about myself. Like I'm a part time. I used to be a part time dance instructor, but I still dance on the side. But I cut hair for a living, so best of both worlds for me you're an artist as a barber as a dancer as a person i get it and don't on, make me dance battle you right now in front of the camera <laughs> and on snapchat well same thing you know to barber barbering footage to dance footage and a lot of selfies so a lot of selfies lot of this motherfucker is the dude that you'll see doing this <laughs> it's more like uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> it ain't nothing like that. It's, it's like he's got a tear in his eye. Anyways, uh, how long you been barbering? I've been barbering for the past four and a half years. Started at 16. 16. 16. So you're still just a youngin'. Yep. Young buns. Turned 21 not so long ago, so. He did, December baby. So, was barbering your, your like a, a initial passion about what you want to do, or is it kind of just a hustle for you? Or Honestly, when I started in this whole career path, I didn't want to be a barber. I wanted to be a male nurse. And uh, I went through clinicals. I took the whole like CB Tech pro program in Moses Lake, and I didn't pass it to go through clinicals. So instead, they told me either I could, I could change, change it, go to a different class, and then wait next year and take it again so I don't have to like not be in the program anymore so I ended up taking barbering the barbering course and I, it just clicked right away especially that I have a lot of family who are in this industry too so cool it, so there was some passion there that you didn't realize you had but once you got some clippers in your hand you knew what time it was yep it's dope so how does it feel to cut next to one of the greatest barbers in the world you mean Yuli? Oh, <laughs> this is where I blur your face, bitch. <laughs> no, honestly, working next to you is fun. Doesn't make. What about the vibe in the shop? Tell them about the vibe in our shop. The constant roasting each other one, or the. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> or well, honestly, it's a good vibe in here. Um, it's a dope vibe. It's crazy because there's like we all have different styles of music. So whenever you're in, 
open. Whoever's in control over the laptop controls <laughs> the music. <laughs> so, so yeah, the vibe's great in here. Dope. Well, we just got some clients that walked in, so we're going to attend those. This is my boy Jay Styles. You'll get to see him a lot more in the vlogs. Uh, look for his little dancing ass on a TV screen near you. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so this is my 11 o'clock. Let's get that work. We got that back taper coming in. In fact, Glassdoor hires are 30% more likely to stay with your company longer. And Glassdoor can help you find that perfect candidate in half the resume. Go to Glassdoor.com slash hire. All right, so I'm about to show y'all his after for his cut, but look at these, boy. Them are fresh as fuck. I said, how you like the cut? He said, man, the cut's cool, but don't get no hair on my shoes. Yeah. All right, y'all, so I just gave you a, a after, but I saw something in this area, so I had to blend it out real quick. Sometimes that's what it takes, man. You gotta look at it from a different perspective, different angle. Man, my dude got swag hair on him, boy. Low key, you look like that, uh, the singer Sam. <laughs> Stay with me. All right, y'all, so real quick, I wanna show you this uh, wall detailer. In my opinion, um, this is the doper one of the two because it also comes in this color. I dig this color, but anyways, this has kind of just been sent to the side. It was my wife's. You see the broken teeth on it right there? I ended up getting her a uh, uh, Anna Slimline Pro Li. So long story short, I swooped up a brand new blade and uh, decided I'm gonna give this away to one of y'all. So make sure to stay tuned. All right, y'all, so real quick, I got the blade on it. Got it oiled up. You can hear it sounding clean. I adjusted the blade, I didn't zero gap it, but I believe it's close enough that you'd have no problems removing any bald guidelines with it. So now it's ready to go to one of y'all, so make sure to stay tuned. Another casual day at the shop. Ooh, it's a little cold out today. Real quick, I got enough time to go catch lunch with my wife. You know, when, when you and your significant other are both in the same hustle, chasing the same dream, it's important to find that time in between. Hey, shit rhymed, <laughs> let's go. Yo, so here I am to meet wifey for lunch at Red Robin. It's about to smash something bomb. Listen to this though. What? They bought music outside? Say that then. Sorry, Pete. What's up? How you doing? I see. How you doing? Good, good. What? Y'all never seen my wife yet. Say hi, babe. Hi. I ordered your food already. What? You already know what I want? Yeah, you eat the same thing here every time we come. All right, babe. Real quick, tell my subscribers what you do for a living. I'm a cosmetologist. What? What other licenses do you hold? An instructor license. What? Anything else? Aren't you like an eyelash specialist? Yeah, I do lash extensions too. What? How does it feel to be married to one of the greatest mofos in life? <laughs> Pretty great. Is it fun being with me? Mm -hmm. How long have we been together? 13 years. Damn! And you're not ready to trade me in yet? 
Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> you excited to eat? Mm -hmm. Me too. They need to hurry up. It should be here soon. Yeah? Oh, I ordered it like 10 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago. Let us see your hair. Let me see your hair. Show them show him the show them how I, I do a dope color job. <laughs> Come on now. You ain't gonna let me take credit for that? No. Damn. Hater. So when y'all come to Red Robin, what do you guys eat? I literally legit eat the same thing every time I come here. I usually don't get a soda. My wife went ahead and took it upon herself to order me one today. I had tried to be getting this. Well, there's nothing on the picture, but it's the bottomless root beer float, and it is so fire. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm gonna show y'all what I get as soon as it comes to my plate. But I'm weird like that. There's certain places that I go, and I always just order the same thing. But yeah. I don't know. I guess I'm a firm believer. If it's not broken, don't try to fix it. Hey, yo! So the waitress here is super, super dope. My Sprite wasn't tasting the greatest. I took a little sip of it. So I got that endless, bottomless root beer float. That shit is fire. If you ever, ever, ever come to Red Robin, it's definitely worth it. Ooh, I got that bomb root beer float. Bottomless. That means I drink as much as I want. Mmm. This is what I always get every single time. What is it called, babe? Teriyaki chicken burger. Teriyaki chicken grilled burger. With a, uh, what is that? Campfire. Campfire. Yeah. What'd you get, babe? It's a California chicken burger. California chicken. You about to fuck it up? I'm about to fuck it up. Look who else came for lunch. This little hooker showed up. Oh, you know. So that's what happened to it. That quick, that simple. My wife eats like a bird, all super slow. What'd Julie get? The Royal. What is on that? I see cheese, tomato, hamburger meat, egg, egg. egg. pineapple. Pineapple. We start a little bit of everything. And I caught my refill, boy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Do you want more fries? Loving this. Yeah, I'll take some more fries. Gotta keep these thighs thick. Oh, Yuli, is that your king sweater? Yeah. Aww. I've only seen gay people wear those. No. <laughs> is that why you have the queen one? <laughs> Ashley, tell the truth. You know what I'm talking about? When the lesbians wear the king and queen? And all I know is that you gave this to me and you have the queen one. So, when we wear it at the shop, we I'm just saying, you. are you a top? Are you a top? <laughs> Yo, so I don't know if it's just at this Red Robin, but this is so dope. Super dope. It's right above us. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got here? You're like a disruptive. Hello? Hey, what's up, Anthony? Hey, what's up, Cisco? How you doing? I'm good, brother. How you doing? Uh, right here. I'm at work right now, but I was trying to see if you were going to be busy around uh, 5.30. 5.30? I'm going to be busy cutting your hair at 5.30. All right. Sounds good, bro. All right, G. I'll see you then. I'll see you at 5.30. All right. Peace. Yo, real quick, real quick, I gotta let you guys in on this conversation. <laughs> I gotta let y'all in on this conversation. So we are talking about significant others passing gas in front of each other. <laughs> and I'm gonna be the first to say that I am a dirty, grimy ass motherfucker. <laughs> and I shit and fart in front of my wife. You're being but so But in the 13 years oh that I've God. been with her, I've never ever seen her shit or fart. You're being so loud. With People are eating their food. With Will you be shot? With the exceptions of one time she farted in her dead ass sleep. And what did I do, babe? I'm about to walk. What out did of I do? Right now. What did I do? I woke her up and I was like, hey, you just you. farted and I'm about to punch you in your motherfucking stomach, you dirty ass bitch. Am I lying, babe? 
Did I wake you up dead out of a sleep? I'm oh, and leave. then there was that other time she was sitting on the toilet oh gosh, peeing I'm in the bathroom. Bye. And I walked Bye. in and it sounded like a bass tube. Remember, babe? And I wouldn't let you, I wouldn't let it go. I have no idea what you're talking about. Where are you going? Like oh, wait, you're talking about shit and parts and we're in a restaurant. Okay. Damn, you People look cross-eyed when you get that close. Huh? <laughs> Yuli, do you fart in front of your girl? <laughs> It's probably happened occasionally. Does your girl fart in front of you though? I'm sure. I'm sure I have to think about that one. <laughs> Wait, I don't think women do. You guys, Babe, do I'm they saying. fart? No, they don't. Really. <laughs> they do not. Damn. So we smashed it. Now we got some appointments to get back to. This is gone. My wife's got a consultation she needs to go handle. Yuli's phone keeps blowing up. Beep, beep. His what is lesbian sweater? <laughs> hey, that's a dope hat. You got that from that barber battle. Yep. Huh? Shout out to the maker of whoever that is. Mr. Hustle. All right, babe. I love you. I love you. Give me five. Because that's all you get. And I'm reminded of that fart from a few years back. Remember that when you want to keep me up all morning, grope in my booty. Babe, you want a balloon? You don't want a balloon? No. Yeah, you do. There you go. Thank you. You like Fortnite, now you can fly away. Hey. <laughs> She's did you, already trying to harvest. Did you just hit Yuli in the head? She's already trying to harvest. <laughs> beat his ass, babe. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. With a balloon. <laughs> beat him up in his lesbian ah. sweater. <laughs> With his hair. <laughs> hold on, let me get those for the camera. Get the punishers on there. What are those? Hey, hold on, hold on. What's this say? That's Punisher. Ooh. He says I'm his king and I punish him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you at the shop right now. Right, look at this. This nigga even want to drive a car like me. Look, look. <laughs> look at. I had it before him. He look at. Last year. <laughs> look at. Except he got that Mad Max. He got that road rage. Like you don't want to bump into him. He got that big ass <laughs> grill and knock you out. Back from lunch. And I don't know if y'all can see in here. Oh, you can't see through but I got a client inside. Oh, there's his head. Hey. Anyways, time to get this work. He's been waiting for an hour and a half. He's been waiting for an hour for this cut, but he said, you know what? Go ahead, take your time at your lunch. Cause I just got this. You've been sitting here playing the whole time, huh? Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm about to film this. My boy said, go ahead and film the tutorial. Yes, sir. So I'll let y'all see when we... Here, let me, let me, let me Yo, this is, this is a really important part of the service. It's client consultation. The first thing my boy right here says to me is, yo, my hair on top is too long. I want to cut almost all that shit off. And then in the same sentence, what'd you say? But hold on, I can't, I can't cut too much off. I only need to cut a little off because if I cut too much off, it don't set right. It, yeah, that's what I meant. So consultation Here. is everything. Anyways, my boy's gonna let me film this right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a tutorial. I think he's gonna look at what he wants. That way uh, we could be sure to, to get him what he needs. Hey. All right, this is what he chose. Are you gonna style like that or you wanna be a little more messy on top? A little bit more messy on top and not so short on the sides. <laughs> hey, yo, this guy, this guy's too much, All man. Right. All right. Oh my goodness, he's going back to the drawing board. All right, like that, like that. Okay, okay, I like that, I like that. Yep. All right, that's what we're about to do. And I'm gonna film it for y'all, so I hope you enjoy. Be back. What, Noah got a big smile already? What's up, y'all, this is my little buddy, Noah. He's one of my only kid clients. I don't cut kids. I mean, I'm at a point where I could say that I don't cut kids and I don't, but this little guy right here, I cut him. You ready to get that work, Noah? All right, let's go. <laughs> Noah, let me see that haircut. Sit up, come on. What happened? Noah, come on, sit up. What happened, Noah? You got lost in the phone? Yeah. Is that that smile? Let me see it. Yay! Well, that's it, man. Not much of a vlog today. It was too busy.